Paying attention to your skin can provide some important clues regarding the health of your body as a whole. Skin cancers that appear on the face or the nose, like basal cell carcinoma, can be removed. However, often the removal leaves some less than desired visual results, like scarring. Dr. Dino Madonna, board certified facial plastic surgeon at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat and Facial Plastic Surgery, talked to us about skin cancer and minimizing facial scarring. Uh, we see a lot of skin cancers, and the three most common type are basal cell, squamous cell, and melanoma. MOSE is a way of excising skin cancers. A dermatologist is usually trained in the technique of MOSE. And it's a way to preserve as much normal tissue as possible. They're usually done in areas where uh, saving as much tissue is, is vital, like on the face. You know, you think about your nose, your ears, your lips. You want to try to save as much normal tissue. Because I, I repair so many skin cancer defects, there are quite a few dermatologists that um, will, if something's on the face, will excise it via Mohs and then send it to me to repair it as a facial plastic surgeon. But then we also just see a lot of people who come in uh, for lesions on their face um, because they'd rather have a facial plastic surgeon kind of do the removal and the repair. The thing that really uh, kind of drew me to facial plastics is the idea of again, three-dimensionally, of how do you reconstruct this? And not only just form and putting things back in place, but to make them functional. So the, the idea of form and function and the artistry and three-dimensionality that goes with it, to me, is just fascinating, very rewarding. For information on this story, as well as links to the specialists at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat, and Facial Plastic Surgery, just click the Scar-Free Healing Story Link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.